Hello and welcome to Jeremy's Retro Bar. I'm Jeremy and this is my Retro Bar. And this week we're gonna be fixing a kernel panicking Blueberry iMac by upgrading its internal hard drive to a solid state SSD. But of course, first, we're gonna need to make ourselves a drink. So for this week's drink, we're gonna be making ourselves a Micheletta. We're going to start by putting a rim on our glass. We're just gonna take a lime here. We're gonna cut a wedge and we're gonna rim with that lime juice. And we're gonna take that glass Put it upside down here in the tahini, and it gets us a nice rim of chilies and salt. So to make the micheletta, we're gonna do six dashes of hot sauce. Then we're gonna add three dashes of magi or magi. One to three dashes of Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce. Then we're gonna add one third cup of lime juice. Finally, we're gonna add one Mexican lager. I've chose to go with Modelo Negro. Stir that together. I'm gonna put ice in a cup. Pour in our micheletta and garnish with a lime. And there we have a micheletta. Cheers. Mmm, that's delicious. Perfect way to spice up a beer. All right, let's get to repairing this iMac. So for this episode and for the next couple, I'm gonna be working through the issues that I discovered in my last episode, which is when I did a tour of my accidental Apple store. And the first thing that I'm starting off with this week is the Blueberry iMac. And that is because one, it's probably one of the easier fixes, and two, it's also one of the most iconic computers. So I thought it would be good to get done first so that when people do come over, a lot of people, that's the childhood computer they had in their classroom, and so it would be nice to have that up and running for them. The easiest fix, or the, the thing that most people suggested for it was to just do an OS reinstall. It's probably just a software thing. And I was like, yeah, it probably is, but of course it is still a spinning rust hard drive, so why not also replace that hard drive with an SSD? So that is what I'm gonna do in this episode. So let's go over to the workbench, pop this iMac open, and let's get this thing replaced. So to do this upgrade, I'm gonna be using this 128 gigabyte Lexar SSD and putting it into this two and a half inch to three and a half inch frame so that it's easier to mount into the iMac. And since the tray loading iMac doesn't have SATA, I'm gonna be using this IDE to SATA adapter so that they can talk to each other. Now to open up our iMac. Luckily, the slot load iMacs are actually pretty easy to get into. It's just one Phillips screw right here. And then I'll just use my hands to pry the case open. Looks like we've got a little bit of dust in here, so I'm going to use this electric duster to blow out all the dirt. The tray loading iMac is pretty cool in that in the top part of it, it has the CRT and the power supply and all the analog circuitry. And then the bottom tray is where the computer and all the drives are stored. And so all we need to do is pull these three wires, unscrew these two Phillips screws, and we can pull out this tray, which has basically the whole computer part of the computer in it. Well, while we're here and we have everything open, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the battery and go ahead and give it a nice dusting. Now I'll remove these two screws which actually hold the hard drive cage and the optical drive is held in place with a spring of sorts, it's a little piece of metal it pushes the optical drive forward. So all I need to do to remove the optical drive is to push it back so it unhooks itself on the front and then it'll pull loose from the little spring thing on the back. And you'll see it is just this little bent wire here. Now I'll just remove the hard drive cage, pull all the wires out and then take the hard drive out of the hard drive cage since we will not be using it anymore. Now we'll just put the SSD and its adapter into this hard drive cage and screw it in place. Then we'll hook up the power and the IDE cables and put the SSD into the iMac computer tray, as I'm gonna call it, 
and then we'll reattach our optical drive and put everything back together. So first thing we're going to do is use the disk utility to initialize the new SSD and then we'll go ahead and just do a restore from the original iMac restore disks. And this app freezes on initialization, which could be any number of things, but the first thing I'm gonna try is a smaller SSD, one that's 64 gigabytes, and see if that makes a difference. All I have to do is take everything apart, pull out the compute module again, replace the SSD with a different SSD, and put everything all back together again, just to see if that works. And of course, it does not. We have the same problem with the smaller 64 gigabyte SSD, so I guess I'm gonna have to try something a little more extreme. As you can see on the workbench, I have a grape tray loading iMac, and I'm gonna go ahead and try the same procedure of replacing the hard drive with the 64 gigabyte SSD and see where that gets us. Also, I'm choosing not to use the two and a half to three and a half inch adapter because it forced the drive too far back into the case and that caused the wires to crunch up a little bit more than I would like them to. So I'm just kind of letting it sit loose. And we'll just take this computer tray and put it into this grape iMac and see what happens. And success, initialization was successful. That's awesome. All right, now I'm gonna do a full system restore from the original system restore disks. Awesome, it looks like the install was successful, but I'm not done yet. I actually am gonna go a little bit more extreme with this. So one of the first things I tried when I couldn't get that SSD to work was pulling the system tray out of this grape iMac and putting that into the Blueberry iMac. And I still had problems with it. But if I put the system tray into the grape iMac, everything worked. So my guess is there's something wrong with the analog board in the Blueberry iMac. Now, the screen is also not as good in the Blueberry iMac. So what I am going to do is change the clothes of the iMacs. I want a Blueberry iMac in my display. So what I'm gonna do is swap the skins of these two iMacs. The Grape iMac will go on the old Blueberry frame and the Blueberry iMac will go on the old Grape frame. And once again, we're gonna start off by removing the computer tray from the iMac. I'm gonna start off by removing the bottom shell first, and that is just done by removing all of the screws that are in the iMac. So there's about uh, eight of them, I believe, and so I'm just gonna unscrew those. Then using a spudger and being very careful not to scratch the plastic, I'm gonna pull that bottom shell away from the rest of the computer. Then 
there are some plastic clips on the front edge of the bottom shell that I want to be very careful not to break, so that's why this part's taking so long. The next piece I'm going to remove is the front bezel, and that's done by removing these two screws in the front and then just being very careful with the spudger to get it to unclip from the colored part of the shell. And now with the front bezel gone, there are just these two screws that are hidden under these little pieces of plastic. And removing those will allow me to pull off the back colored part of the plastic shell. And there it is with no clothes on, one naked iMac. Now to get the good blueberry skin off of the other iMac, we're gonna do the same thing remove the screws, and pull off the bottom panel. Then I'll remove these two screws and pry off the front bezel. And finally, remove the top two screws and pull off this back panel. So now I'm just gonna reverse the process. Putting the shell back on, putting the screws in the top, covering the screws with the screw caps. Clearly, I'm having the hardest time with this left screw cap. <laughs> and then I'll just snap the bezel back on and put in the two screws on the front of the computer. Now I'm going to carefully put the bottom case back on, being careful not to break the clips that attach to the front of the case. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and just put in all the screws. And finally, we'll put the computer back in, hook all the wires up and add the bottom panel. And of course, I had to put it back in its natural habitat, back in the accidental Apple store. Look at it there with its 15-inch CRT, looking better than ever. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Obviously, it wasn't such a simple fix. We wanted to switch out that CRT and we knew we had a good working computer, so just changing the color of it ended up being the easiest option, but of course a much more involved thing than just putting an SSD into an iMac. But uh, anyway, I thought it was a really fun and interesting episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you next time.